guys so I am just gonna cut right to the chase and say that January really sucked for me and I don't think I'm the only one but uh, yeah we're starting 2018 from here I've decided January who this is a little office area that I built throughout the month a designated work area like its own little cubicle somewhere that I can physically go to work I built this because A, I needed a project, I needed something that I could just invest all my time and attention into and just completely distract myself from life in January, but B, I've been desperate for a while for somewhere that I could have that separation between my work and living space. Somewhere that I could really get into the zone and implement a proper work ethic and some proper self-discipline. So on the 10th of January, I finally pulled myself together and I got to work. So if you've seen my room, it's kind of a very big space that I've zoned off into a sleeping area, a living area, and a workspace studio area. And I love the openness and just the massive footprint of this room, which is so rare, especially in London, and just the light that comes through at all times of the day. But the layout really wasn't functional for me, especially as someone that works from home, because whether I was relaxing or working, wherever I was in the room, I was still just in my bedroom. So the whole thing started with a plan. I love a plan. I will put a lot of time into planning and not as much time into doing stuff. But you know, any time that I can write out blueprints and floor plans it just makes me feel official and fancy. So it was just some random notes and ideas sketched out in my planner at first. And then I moved on to Evernote where I could just pour out this train of thought of ideas. Being able to bounce ideas back and forth with the added benefit of having it in digital form so I could edit and delete and move things around wherever I needed to without making a mess on paper. At first I was thinking about building an actual wall, so getting like stud partitions and plasterboard. I thought about using big sliding doors, maybe just having a big curtain. I was bouncing around a lot of ideas, just different ways that I could separate the room and just create that division in one way or another. And eventually I found a video here on YouTube where a woman built like an entryway in her flat with two Billy bookcases and I will leave a link below to that in case you're watching this thinking please just get on with it. That video will tell you all the things that you need to know. But for my Billy bookcase wall, I started out just by taking some measurements, figuring out what kind of space I was looking to fill. And then the next thing I did was take a bedsheet and pin that up in the space to act as a rehearsal wall, I guess. Seeing how having a wall there would affect like the flow of the room, how it would affect the light in the room, and just what it would feel like spatially in each different area with that split down the middle. So I've just set up my makeshift partition wall just to see how it feels in the room to split it up and also how it affects the lighting throughout the day. So far I'm liking it, I like having a background rather than just like the whole mess of my room behind me, I found that that was quite a busy background to have. So this right now is looking good to me. So now that I'm here talking to you, I've been waiting all day to open this package. I, over Christmas, got a couple of letters from you guys, and I know you're supposed to open these on camera, but I always get so excited when I get mail and I have to open it and see what I've got. So the first two I've just been keeping in my sketchbook. So to start out, I got this one, which is on really cute Christmas stationery, and it's not signed, but the envelope says it's from Carol, so thank you, Carol. And then I also got this one, which is really nicely made. Um, and this one is from Kate, and it just has such a lovely message. Thank you so much for writing, Kate. It's lovely to hear from you. And then this morning, very exciting, I got this from Canada, and I couldn't resist opening it. And I opened it up and saw this. I'm not sure if you can see it, but I'll insert what I'm looking at. And it came with a letter, and it's from Andrea, or Andrea, and she is an artist from Ottawa, Canada. Um, she wrote a really lovely letter and sent some prints and she said that I could use them as gifts for people but from the look of it I think I'm going to be keeping them for myself. These are so cool. So yeah, I thought I would open them on camera to see what else there is. It's so exciting. Oh wow. So there's a Paris one, and San Francisco, oh my god. Little secret that I've been keeping from you guys, I am actually going to be in San Francisco later on this year. So this is so special. Thanks so much for these, Andrea. I hope I'm saying your name right. These are gorgeous, and thanks everyone that has sent me letters. It's just so lovely to receive letters from you guys, to hear from you guys. It feels so personal. 
obviously you don't have to send me anything but it really just makes my day to hear from you. I'm gonna go and show my mum these prints. So I spent the rest of the day just getting a feel of the room, mulling it over, letting the idea settle for a while, seeing how it felt just in there before writing out a shopping list and having a look online for all the things I'd need. So the Billy bookcases, some hardboard to flatten out the back of the bookcases to give them that flush look like an actual wall, um, some wallpaper to cover the hardboard again to give it that more of a wall look and then some paint to go over that as well. And I don't know about you guys but I cannot look at paint without just like falling in love with every single colour I see, just all the colours together looking so good. It was so hard not to buy all of them. Anyway, by the end of that evening I had done all my shopping and placed my orders with Ikea and with Wix. Fast forward to a couple of days later, my Ikea delivery was scheduled to come between 7 and 11am on Saturday morning and obviously like any normal person would, I was praying that it would come closer to 11 than 7 but uh, 6.50 in the morning, my doorbell rang. It was dark and it was cold. And I was like, what is going on? Um, but I mean, ratings to those delivery drivers for being up and working at that time already on a Saturday. Um, but yeah, my bookcases arrived. I couldn't complain. I went back to bed for about an hour and then I got up and started prepping the space for a long day of work. I had already put my furniture more or less in the position I thought it would end up in eventually um, with the help of my mum the day before. So it was just a case on this Saturday of clearing the space as much as I could to give myself enough room to be building furniture and moving things around. What, what's your plan right now? Is, is, if we could get it like that, then slide it up. Do you know what I mean? That's it. I took my time with it. I am quite used to building IKEA furniture. Most of my room is IKEA furniture. I can probably do a lot of it without instructions and the Billy bookcases especially are quite a simple one, but I decided in this case to just take my time, do it properly, make sure that I wasn't making any mistakes or rushing it and having to go back. I just thought, let this be the one thing that I do properly and put proper time into. And also it was just nice to spend the day building and assembling and listening to podcasts and music and enjoying the process. I left the top of each bookcase, so I cut the backboard at the top just to leave the top shelves open. I thought it would be a nice feature and also it would let just a little bit more light through. <laughs> I smoothed out the backs of the bookcases with hardboard, filled in the gaps between them with plastering tape, just because that's the tape that I had. And I started to apply the wallpaper that I had, uh, but I had got to that point in the day where I was tired, I was getting a bit clumsy, I was getting sloppy with what I was doing, I was getting frustrated. So I decided that Saturday I was done and we'd pick up again the next day. Okay, so it's day two of the wall building process. I've actually put that on hold for a second just because I need to get on with a little bit of art. I think I'm trying to discipline myself a bit more. Um, I usually get caught up in little side projects and will put drawing or making art on the back burner. So this year I'm really trying to commit to drawing every day if I can. And so I decided to get everything I need to do today done before I start working on the wall again. So I last left it half papered. I had a bit of um, a struggle with the papering. I think because as the evening drew in, I kind of lost my focus. So I started making silly mistakes. I am decently good at wallpapering, but when I was doing it yesterday, I completely just forgot everything that I would normally do. So I ended up really creasing the paper. Normally I'll paste the paper and fold it up on itself so that it's easy to move around and then you just unfold it as you paste it down the wall, which is like the normal thing that you would do. Um, but then yesterday I just pasted the whole sheet and tried to carry it over and stick it on and that really didn't work out great. Also, I found that the paper I got is lining paper, which is probably why it was so cheap. Um, and 
it just behaves a little bit differently to normal wallpaper and I found it really unforgiving in how it shows up the like the joins between the different panels and also just any small any small bubbles or imperfections so I've decided to try something different I'm using a wallpaper that I already had and I'm putting it on horizontally because it has like a textured pattern to it where anything any small issues with the wall panels should disappear underneath that and then I'm going to paint over it. I'm also planning on painting the inside of the shelves here. I'm actually really surprised with how much I like the wood effect of these. It looks really nice and it feels a lot better quality than Ikea's white furniture. So I don't want to paint the whole thing, I just want to paint the inside a little bit brighter just so that the things that I have on there will stand out a bit nicer and then I'm going to paint the other side of the wall. What I'm working on at the moment in this crazy workspace is finishing off my Mossery sketchbook. So on top of trying to commit to doing a drawing every day, I've decided to not overthink the ideas that I have. So last night I just thought randomly I want to paint a globe, so today I just drew out a quick globe, didn't have a plan in mind, just got it down on paper. So that is one of the pages that I've done today. And then next to that, I tested out some different paint colours, so when I was looking at paint for the wall I just came across so many lovely colours that I wanted to try out so I bought tester pots and these are all the colours that I have, I just wanted to swatch them to see how they would actually look and then this one up here called Chinoise is going to be the one that I used for the wall um, it's still wet so that probably isn't the exact colour but I am really liking it, okay, I'm really pleased with how that looks so just a couple of pages left in this sketchbook and then it's completely finished and then I'll be free to get on with painting this wall. I think I've done really well today just to keep my focus. I'm really trying to have that self-discipline, really teach myself to not let my feelings dictate what I get done in a day. I can control my actions, I can't control my feelings, so I'm just trying to focus on what I need to do rather than what I want to do or you know what I know will make me feel better because most of the time I know that I would feel great if I just lay in bed all day but I have things that I actually need to do so it's like for today instead of working on something that I would find fun like just painting and finishing off this project I decided to do something that has been on my list for a while get that done my brain's been a bit all over the place it's been a bit of a struggle to keep that focus just because I think because this space is such a mess at the moment it's hard to just zone in on one thing but I'm hoping that by the end of today once I've done this, once I've painted that, I can put things in that shelf, tidy up and just organise this space so that by the end of today it will be a workable, usable, neat and organised workspace for me. I really want to see if I can get this finished today. You are like old dust over me Just like an angel said Today's the day I'm going to tidy all this up. Okay, so as you can see, I didn't manage to finish off yesterday, and if I'm being completely honest, I've kind of had enough at this point. I normally love doing these kinds of projects. I love decorating and just moving things around. Um, and I could do it, you know, for days and days and weeks and really enjoy it. But this time, it's starting to feel a bit like a chore. Today has been a really dark and gloomy day, and I'm just, like, at the peak of... PMSing I guess so it's kind of started yesterday but I didn't realize that that's what it was when I was saying that I couldn't focus I just completely lost my ability to concentrate and I got really clumsy and I got really irritable and you know just the smallest things would make me want to cry and um, it's the same kind of thing today a little bit more intense 
and that is also compounded with this like exhaustion um where you know when you feel like you can't even hold your head up you can't even hold your eyelids open like they feel so heavy and like my body is aching and it feels weak but this should only last the next couple of days I think today will be the worst of it and then by Wednesday my hormones should kind of level out so at the moment it just is kind of like a massive test of my whole mentality of trying to work on taking action um, and working through how I'm feeling and not letting how I'm feeling dictate what I do so yeah this is just going to be another hurdle to overcome and it's going to be a hurdle that I have to overcome at least once a month so so far today I have just been taking it one thing at a time and making sure I'm doing things and celebrating the small victory of each thing that I do do so I got up and I had a shower and I did some drawing which um, is kind of a big deal for me when I feel like crap I really don't usually draw I use my feelings as an excuse not to because you know it's supposed to be something that I love doing and something that I'm happy doing but sometimes it's just a thing that I have to do regardless of how I feel so I'm very pleased with myself well done me for drawing when I didn't necessarily feel like it and I quite enjoyed it in the end I made it easy on myself by just doing it in bed with pencil nothing major nothing that I could get too frustrated with if it went wrong and yeah now I'm here in this room and I'm ready to just do a little bit at a time I know that it's not going to be done done for a while because it needs decorating and just little tweaks here and there it needs like living in just to see how things are going to work so just my main priority with this space right now is to get it organised and make it tidy and usable and make it a space that I can work in. So that's my intention for the rest of the day really and then I'll probably get back to some drawing. I need to package up a couple of orders but I'm here, I'm doing it and that's really all I can ask for. This is the office right now. And this is the rest of my room. Don't need an answer, just some kind of reply. Okay, so yesterday was the first full day that I spent working in here. It was just everything that I had hoped for in a like standalone office. I really managed to separate myself from the rest of my room and just get in a zone and focus and get some work done. And you know, I did about eight hours work, which is what I tried to do every day and literally never ever managed to get through. But I did, I timed myself and I managed to get eight hours done like on and off throughout the day. Anytime that I wasn't 
working I would like pick up all my stuff and move outside of this part of the room just so that this is a dedicated workspace so if I wanted to just have like a 15 minute break watch some YouTube videos I would take my laptop out of here take it out there go and sit on my bed or something and watch it and then come back in and get back to work so it turned out to be great it turned out to be amazing I didn't film it just because I was like completely trying to focus and stay in the zone and I'm hoping that from now on like this is it like I can keep doing that every day because I don't know, I feel like things have changed now. I need to I need to get on with it and take things seriously. I feel like in all my life really I've like functioned well at like 70% effort and I don't know, I've got to a point now where like I'm turning 25 this year and I know that it's not like a massive deal and I'm not like getting proper old and stuff, but it's time. It's time to just you know, put my all into stuff and work harder and do better. Because I feel like if I really do push myself, then I could do something great. So I'm ready and I'm scared because I never have really put 100% into anything. And I'm scared that in like a month's time, I'm going to look back and think, oh yeah, <laughs> I really thought, I really thought I had it. Um, but you know, we can only wait and see. I mean, the only person that decides whether or not I stay in this mind frame is myself, I guess. I'm it's up to me to keep this up, so. I'm not just hoping, you know, I'm positive. I have to do it. <laughs> so today is a kind of half work day. I am lucky in being self-employed that I can kind of pick and choose when my weekends are. So having done four hours of work today, I'm gonna to take half of today off, the whole of tomorrow off, and half of Friday off, and then get back to work on Friday afternoon. Hopefully film, like, five videos on Saturday. I have two that I need to do and then anything else hopefully I can fit in but that's the plan at the moment. But in the meantime today this light I know this lighting is really awful I'm hoping that in like the editing process of this video I can make it look a little bit less orange and a little bit less harsh but right now in the viewfinder I look like an oompa loompa. Um, but yeah right now today I am just getting ready to go out. It is Wednesday, which means uh, it's Wing Wednesday. So me and a few friends are going to a pub called the Great Exhibition that's like in between all of us and they have bottomless wings on Wednesdays. So I'm gonna have a nice catch up, have a nice chat and then spend my weekend at Aussies and then I'll be back here to crack on with work by Friday afternoon. In terms of these shelves in this wall, I think I'm kind of done for now. I'm gonna, f I've now that this area is done, I'm quite happy with it. There are a couple more things I want to do. I want to have like a couple of pictures up or something. I used to have quite a few pictures up and now I don't have any. So that would be nice. Um, like maybe have somewhere to put up any art that I have or um, one of my goals this year is to buy more art by artists that I love. So I would love to have somewhere like a big wall of nice prints and things. I also bought um, more wood, wood effect paper for these drawers because I ran out of that for those and I also bought another one that looks almost exactly the same but is it's supposed to be a bit warmer so I might put that on something as well and then I don't know I feel like sometimes I just buy things really impulsively and I'm not thinking and I bought this like string of fake leaves that I kind of thought would be nice hanging up on these on one of these shelves in the background or maybe hanging out on the other side where it's a wall but We'll see. I also have loads of fake ivy somewhere, um, but it'd be nice to have a bit more greenery in here. Yesterday I finished my Mossery sketchbook, finally, just with a few experimental painting studies. Nothing too serious and nothing to write home about, really. One of them turned out not great, um, but for some reason it did, really didn't bother me. It, it's the last thing that I've done in this sketchbook, and it's the kind of thing that I normally would cover up I think just because it was a fail like I look at it now and I know that it didn't turn out how I wanted it to but I I'm not I'm not mad at it I don't really care like it it's just something that I tried and that I realized didn't work so it was a nice place to end this sketchbook in I think it's like a end of a chapter of like trying to do things perfectly and the start of a next sketchbook where I can be even more open to mis making mistakes and making a mess and trying things and learning from the mistakes along the way. Okay, I need to, 
I need to go, I need to finish getting ready, but I'll talk to you guys soon. I'll be honest, the new workspace wasn't the instant cure to all my problems that I'd hoped it would be. Um, in hindsight, I was definitely going through pretty much a quarter life crisis at this point, just trying so hard to focus on the things that I thought would make me happy um, and realising that the things that would normally bring me joy just weren't fulfilling for me at all. I was just trying to bury myself in these projects and keep myself busy. Um, and ultimately feeling really unfulfilled at the end of it. I even filmed about four other videos for this channel which I ended up scrapping because they weren't good enough. I thought at one point about quitting YouTube altogether and I had to do a lot of soul searching just trying to answer the simplest of questions for myself. What do I want? Um, what's going to make me happy? I spent time with friends, I did a lot of exercising um, and I did a lot of making art just for fun, just for the pure enjoyment of it. I finished one sketchbook and started another one and I have continued to just show up every day and do what I can and above everything just enjoy making art for myself, my own enjoyment and trying not to make it any more complicated than that. to a point at the end of the month now where it's kind of come full circle. The missing piece of the puzzle, I got this package from a friend, Jesse, who is a fellow YouTuber who's also taking a break from social media at the moment. But he's been someone that I've been talking back and forth with pretty much since I started on YouTube. Um, maybe even before YouTube, pretty much since I started posting my art online, we've had a uh, friendship and a connection through art. As I said, he's also taking a break from social media, but he just wanted to send me a letter to say hi and send some stickers and some zines. And he even sent his Inktober drawings, the actual drawings that I actually um, mentioned in my Inktober favorites video. And that was such a treasure to receive and just reminded me what an amazing connection I've been able to make through art and through this channel. And if you're watching Jessie, um, I just hope you know that that really meant a lot to me, more than you probably do realise. So while I've been in this whirlwind this month of unsurety and like bad news and doubt and just emotion, I finally feel like I'm beginning to recentre my focus on the things that matter. I love making art and I love this community we have here and I'm really looking forward to this year now. A year of growth in this new space, a new chapter, hashtag new year new me, and a new work ethic and to solidify the drawing habit back in me, to refocus on that drawing as the priority. I am going to spend the month of February making sure to draw every day um, and I'll be filming it so that'll be next month's vlog. 
otherwise thanks so much for watching um it's nice to be back and thank you for your patience with me i will see you soon for the next video bye <laughs>